G'day there, TMF, Grant over in Oz, doing a vehicle again. <laughs> you see a nice lane that we've just mowed there in the middle of this seat. It's a Toyota Hilux, I don't know what they might be called in the in the US. Got the dodgy Bissell Big Green with the very good hand tool. I like this hand tool. That extraction bar being so thin, the water just comes up in sheep. It's actually really, really good, but I guess you'll probably, uh, probably won't take my word for it. Anyway, let's just have a go. Ugh, there it is. Ugh, that's bad. Let's just get that up. <laughs> yeah, someone's drank coffee or something in the back at some point, I think. And, uh... Definitely, uh, definitely lost a bit. What is it with coffee in vehicles? Do you, uh, do you have problems with coffee spills in vehicles as a big issue over in the US, or is it just an Australian thing? I suppose you do get spilled coffee, of course, but I seem to see a lot of it. I would have to say it's probably one of the biggest indiscretions to end up in vehicle interiors that I clean up. Then again, I don't know how many of you guys actually do vehicle interiors. I imagine that there's probably plenty of time occupied in just the carpet, oh, oh wow, just the carpet cleaning. But uh, anyway, obviously, uh, I wonder if I can turn this. We do get a few vehicle interiors over here that need to be done. Not a lot of people in Wyala do them. Ooh, I've lost my light. Excuse me, folks. <laughs> Gotta love doing cleanings on the weekend in the evening with no daylight saving time. It's just awesome. Ooh, there's an after bit. So, yeah, we're using uh, Kirby Suds. <laughs> that doesn't surprise any of you, I'm sure. Tori, if you see this video, this might be of interest to you, though, because. Uh, it basically does what I was talking about in your thread. It marries hot water extraction and end cap together. I basically use end cap to uh, loosen the soil virtually as a pre-spray, which I scrub in. Oop. And then uh, once I've scrubbed the encapsulating pre-spray in, I get hot water extraction on the job and we start lifting the soil out. And what it does, is does a great job of suspending the soil because obviously NCAP has to be pretty good at suspending soil it has to be uh, good enough to stand up on its own but then when you do the hot water extraction straight afterwards you get all this fantastic rinsing and the residue that remains if there's if there's any and of course there always will be it's designed to encapsulate so you're not going to get any rapid resoiling issues which is terrific what we like to see. So as you can see, I've still got a bit of work to do but it's a fair old improvement and uh, I hope the customer is going to be really impressed. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks. 